look, I said earlier, let's make sure that we do have a few of the facts that we're clear rather than perceptions. One of the first facts, and it comes from the Treasury's own tax discussion paper, is that we are one of the lowest taxing countries in the OECD. And one right? of the highest corporate taxes. Overall, in terms of our, the revenue, the really vital revenue we raise as a population to fund the things that we need, we are at the really low end, sixth lowest. So we had always said in this discussion about tax reform, we needed to go carefully and very clearly. If we are going to deliver a tax cut for personal income, when we've already had, during the boom era, eight successive tax cuts on personal income rates, and that we've chosen the 80,000 uh, 80, one, which will benefit the top 20% um, if you're a woman, 30% if you're a male, um, that was the wrong choice, and we absolutely oppose it. Duncan's question, you're not right in, in us to say it doesn't matter at the low end. The, the, I never interaction, said that. the, interaction, I that? the interaction between the tax system and the transfer system makes a big difference to people in Duncan's situation. And we had always said to the government we were open to doing something there so that we were providing more benefit for people on low incomes who were going to be getting back into paid work. All right, but the and bigger, it will make a big difference to small businesses. We, we, we have a lot of other questions to get through. If we're going to, to be moving the tax Excuse reform, me. we need some of the tax concessions dealt with, and there's a whole lot of missing in action on that front, and we okay. deliver the tax cuts without Claire Edouard, rolling back. Claire a brief response. Ve very briefly, what I would say is what we've heard from both Labor and the Greens here tonight is that they want to increase taxes, personal income taxes and company taxes. That's going to put a handbrake on our economy. Now, I have sat down with small business because I'm the small business minister and I've talked to them. One of the cafe owners I spoke yep. to the other day has got a turnover of just over two million. As a result of our change, our tax cut on the 1st of July of this year, he will have access to the instant asset write-off, which means he can invest in his business. A $6,000 toaster, which means he can get more customers through his business on a Saturday when there's a bottleneck, more customers through his business, because toast is that bottleneck that he needs to clear in order to get more people in. He's going to derive more revenue, and he's told me that he is going to put more people on. I mean, this is the result of the changes we are making. It will affect people's lives in a very positive way. Okay, remember, if you hear any doubtful claims on